You always have to be prepared when you have a uterus. It is no secret that I travel a lot and I have for over a decade, like since I was 18. Basically, I turned 18, graduated high school, moved out on my own and started touring as a speaker. And I've been on airplanes very frequently ever since. And for far too long, I did not do this one thing that was a game changer. And that is always having my makeup and skincare pre-packed. I have completely separate makeup and skincare bags that live in the suitcase. They do not leave the suitcase, so they are always there and ready when I need to travel because I realized the thing that takes me the longest to pack is my hair and makeup and skincare and all of this stuff. So if I just have these bags that are always ready, all I have to worry about is like shoes, clothes, and Elton John's things, and that's way easier. So I thought it'd be a fun little video to show you as a makeup and skincare lover, what I keep pre-packed that always comes with me on every single trip. We have got two bags here. Ooh, and these are heavy, okay? These add pounds, plural, don't they, Neve? Yes. I think half of a suitcase, way heavy. half of a suitcase is my makeup and skincare and my mom's makeup and skincare. A full half of a suitcase. It's ridiculous. Let's go with the skincare one first. I got these on TikTok shop. I honestly don't know the brand, so I cannot link them for you, but I really love these. They are even empty pretty heavy. That's the one downfall, but they're super sturdy. Like they're hard shelled, which means none of your products get crushed, which I really appreciate. And also they're very organized inside. It probably looks very messy, but they have these like movable, panels so you can create different pockets to keep things in and then they have a zipper pocket up here and like a little area for technically makeup brushes but we'll see you'll see how i keep my skincare so in here i have the elf holy hydration cleansing balm as my makeup remover i have the mini la roche posay tolerane face wash which is for sensitive skin dehydrated skin I cannot recommend enough. This is one of my all time favorite cleansers. And as an affordable cleansing balm, this is an amazing option. I also like that it's lightweight. I also have this mini hairbrush, which I love. This is the mini tangle teaser. It's like teal and lavender. And this is perfect. This is all I need to deal with my hair. Amazing. Then I have mini shampoos and conditioners. These are the Moroccan oil ones. And I got these as the Sephora birthday gift this year, as well as this mini Moroccan oil. We love all the travel sizes. We love. Then I have this, which I picked up when I was in Tokyo. And it is like a gel stick to deal with flyaways and stuff. So if I ever have flyaways on the go, we don't have to worry. And then I have this K18. I don't know what it's called, but it's one of the, it's, you like shampoo your hair and then you don't put conditioner in it. And when your hair is damp, you put some of this in. So if I'm having really bad hair, this helps manage it for me. A lip mask, I always need a lip mask. I put one on every single night. And this is the Sigma Beauty one. My favorite is the Lawless, forget the filler lip mask, but this is also very good. Then I have my favorite everyday perfume in a mini size. It is so perfect. It has my three favorite notes. Amber, I was gonna say lavender, which is a favorite note of mine, but it is not in here. This is the Commodity Gold Expressive and it is sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. Then I have what used to be my favorite deodorant, but has been dethroned recently, like just this past week. This is the Necessaire Roll-On gel deodorant, like rollerball. It's the eucalyptus and it's an AHA, so 5% AHA and niacinamide. This is really expensive, at least in my opinion it is. Um, it's an all natural deodorant, which is great and it works so well. Like best natural deodorant I've ever tried and it's because of the AHAs. So I found the Saltaire one, which is identical. 5% AHA, better fragrances, almost identical bottle, and works just the same, but way cheaper. So get the Salt Air Serum Deodorant, not this. But I will use this until it's out and then replace it with the Salt Air. Then we have sunscreen, extremely important. This one is the La Roche-Posay. It's a nice mini size. What is this one called? That one is the Antilios, A-N-T-H-E-L-I-O-S. Antilios, protect your skin, friends. We have got another small mini. This is the Maybe Better the Screen. There you go, okay. <laughs> this is the Better Screen Sunscreen Serum 
from Kiehl's Holy Grail. New, all-time, favorite sunscreen. If you hate putting on sunscreen because of the thick texture, this is your best friend. You need to try this this summer. It is the only one I'll probably buy from now on. That's how much I love it. Then we have my Differin Gel. Which side? Yep, there. Yay! <laughs> this is my Differin Gel. All my acne queens. This is our friend. I don't typically use it every night because my skin's too sensitive for that, but I'll use it every other night to every three nights. If I'm really breaking out, then I do use it every night and then I just treat the barrier damage. Speaking of, we have the Ordinary Barrier Repair Serum or Barrier Support Serum. It's pink. If you see, can you see it? Yes. It's pink. Very pink. Um, the other day I was at a hotel with my boyfriend and he was like, is one of your beauty products like red or pink? And I was like, yeah, why? He's like, cause it's in the sink. And I was like, who's bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> Just me. This is a great alternative to my favorite Kate Somerville Delicate Serum, way cheaper. Get this, look, I'm in my money saving era, okay? I'm 30, life's expensive, more expensive than ever. 2024 is the year of finding cheap alternatives. So then we have the travel size of the, what is this called? Let me see. <laughs> Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. Niacinamide yeah. for nice hydration in the morning. And then as my evening cream, I have this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. And, oh my God, so many products. I have the Avene Cold Cream. Oh my God, how am I managing to get everything backwards? This is the Avene Cold Cream, which I use when my barrier is wacky from too much different gel and travel. And this is kind of like what I'll use for soothing my barrier and slugging almost. Mm. It's good. It's like good, like occlusive. Mm. Then I have this. Maybe turn it <laughs> the other way. Nana, don't turn it. Let me see it. I'm gonna tell them what it is. It okay. doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's Win Levy. This is a prescription cream. It's amazing. I am grateful because my insurance covers it. I believe this tube is a thousand dollars, which is disgusting. I pay 90, which is still a lot but like, my God. So I keep it in my travel bag. It lasts a long time, which I'm grateful for. And I use this morning and night, and it is for my acne. It is essentially, the name is escaping me, but it's a topical version of an oral medication for acne. We love adult acne. And then up here, I have my toothbrush. I have my mini toothpaste. I have this, which I use as like an eye cream. You just kind of, it's from Tatcha. What is it called? It's the serum stick. It's hydrating, we love. And then I have a travel razor, cause you know, pits gotta get shaved even on the road. Then back here in my secret pocket, I have my favorite, Hello Floss. Don't waste your money on Cocoa Floss. Buy this, it's so good. We've got these, what are these? <laughs> Dr. Dennis Gross peeling sheets. So it's like a two-step peel. So it's kind of like my exfoliation on the road. I have these, which are pimple patches from Curology. I have just random bobby pins for my bobby pinning needs. I've got these denture cleaners, which I use to clean my night guard. And then I just have some tampons and some pads in case my period comes unexpectedly. You always have to be prepared when you have a uterus. And then we have my makeup. Now, obviously, like as I run out of things in both of these, I switch them out for different products. This is just what happens to be in my makeup bags currently or in my travel bags currently. So in here we have the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I like it cause it's lightweight. So like the tube doesn't add extra weight versus my favorite foundations are the NARS Radiant Light and the House Labs, whatever that one is. And they're both in heavy glass bottles. So that's a no for travel. We have my Rose. What is, oh, can you see that one? What? <laughs> Too many this products. Is Rose Ink. Rose Ink Concealer. Yeah. That's what I thought it was, but I was questioning myself. I have my NYX little mini setting spray. I actually have some samples of the Radiant Light in here. I have the Auric Beauty kind of highlighty drops that you can put underneath your foundation for extra glow. I have a, there's too many beauty brands. What are all the names? What is this product? Oh my God. Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. Kosas beauty sponge. I should take this out. I hardly use it. Then I have this Lawless setting powder. This is, I mean, I have nothing to say. It's fine, it works. That's all I care about. But way better alternative is the 
I think it's like Halo setting powder. Way cheaper, really good. It's what I'm wearing today. Then I have these little Q-tips in this travel pack for fixing my makeup. I have this Shuumura. This is the best for straight lashed gals like me, the best. Then I have this travel mascara. What is this one? It looks like well people. But well maybe, people, yeah. that is. It's well people. I just bought this on Amazon and I really like it. I have the Sigma lash, or not lash, brow wax, brow gel to get my brows looking floofy. I, this is my new favorite blush. This is the Too Faced, I think it's the Cloud. Yeah, Cloud Crush. Cloud Crush. It is like a beautiful, cool toned pink. I'm obsessed, so cute. And then I have two little mini NARS. This is the bronzer I have, which is the Iconic Laguna. And then I have the other Iconic as my more coral blush option on the road, Orgasm. So I have my pink blush and my coral blush. Then I have this OG, so old Becca highlight. I think it's Champagne Pop. I have all my minis. I have this Charlotte Tilbury Cream Shadow. Charlotte Tilbury Cream Shadows are my favorite cream shadows. They're so like whippy and moussey feeling. I'm obsessed. I have three of them and this is the one that I keep for on the road. I'm wearing one of them today. It is not this one, but they are very similar. I have this trio, though <laughs> the bottom one's gone, but I use that in my crease and I'll throw that all over the lid for like an easy on the go. And this is Kaja Beauty. I love these Kaja Beauty bento box shadows. They are so easy, like don't have to think about it. And then I honestly just have like a ton of lipsticks in different colors. This is a Huda one. I just wore this at my bestie's wedding with this Too Faced Lip Injections gloss on top. I have a couple Macs. I just try to have different shades. This is my favorite Hyaluronic Happy Kiss by Charlotte Tilbury, obsessed. Ooh, my favorite red of all time. This is the Lady Bold Red by Too Faced. Just the best blue toned red, love it. Another MAC. Yeah, I just throw like a bunch of mini glosses. This is my favorite clear gloss. This is the MAC Squeeze Tube Clear Gloss, the best. And this color is so pretty, it's like a bright summery pop. How pretty is that? This is Estee Lauder, so good. Up here I keep my brushes. It's just a random, honestly, assortment of brushes. Just the typical ones that I would need. Foundation, concealer, setting powder, bronzer, highlight, blush, and then all my lashes, or all my, I do have these for my lashes, but just all my eyeshadow brushes. So I won't go through those individually, but it's just an assortment. And then we've made it to the end back here. I have a couple of different lip liners from Too Faced. Then I also have this Huda Beauty matte eyeshadow palette, which is just kind of like mauves, browns, neutrals. So you can create pretty easy eye look with that. And that is everything I keep with me in my travel, skincare, hair care, and makeup bags. Let me know if there's something you think I'm missing. What are your favorite things to bring on the go with you? Let me know. And until next time, you can click over here to watch this video from my trip to Dubai, where I rode a camel, or this video, where I went to the Miracle Gardens. See you next time. Bye.